dollar! It's dollar! The little muffin! Mm. Mm. It's muffin! It's muffin the jealous baby! It's muffin! Mm. <laughs> I miss you so much! I never ever want to leave you again. Ever. Ever. I never want to leave you. Mm, 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 mm. I never want to leave you, okay? I'm gonna stay here with you for as long as I can. First we have dollar. Mm. Mm. Hi, DLI family. Okay, my friend, okay. Come here, you crazy. You're a crazy little girl. You're a crazy little rascal. You know that? You're a crazy little rascal. You forgot about daddy? Mm. How were you? I heard you learned how to sit while I was gone. Mm. As I am sure you can tell, I am reunited. <laughs> hey, I can't vlog no more? I can't vlog no more? As I'm sure you can tell, I am reunited with my baby. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't vlog no more? Or you just want me to sit down so you can kiss me and love me? I have to sit them down. This is important. This is a big, big thing. Guys, while I was gone, I was in Toronto, and you know what I did? That's you, look. They said you can't lick you, but look at it. Muffin, look at it, that's you. Guys, guys, I got you on my arm. You like it? Lick me if you like it, Dollar. Dollar, if you like it, lick me. Yay! Muffin, if you like it, don't lick me. Yay! Life is good, life is good. Oh, Muffin doesn't want Dollar on me. Muffin doesn't want dollar on me. Dollar, come here. <laughs> She's so territorial. Dollar, come here. Yay. Don't bite him, Muffin. Don't bite him. I'm rubbing both of you. <laughs> My bed. Whoa, Muffin, you're turning up. What? What's wrong with you, crazy? <laughs> oh my god, I'm in bed with my babies. Oh, I missed you guys so much. I missed you so much. I missed you so much. Dollar, where you at? Come here. Muffin, you still beat him up. I've been gone for a long time. You still beat him up. Dollar, come here. My baby. <laughs> I heard you guys both got sick. You both got diarrhea and vomited all the time. Yay! Oh, they're so happy. They're so happy. The best way to start my day, the best way to start the vlog. I usually come home and I'm like, oh no, post tour sad. I'm so happy right now. Everything is just perfect. So good morning. Actually, you know what? I can't do this without you guys. Come here. Muffin, come here. Muffin, Muffin, you little rascal. You're not in trouble. Come here. You're not in trouble. Look. You're not in trouble. Come here. She thinks she's in trouble. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Good morning to the best family on YouTube. You guys need to learn how to do this. Since this vlog started on such a high and happy note, I'm gonna continue it with good news. I wasn't planning on vlogging today. I wasn't planning on being on social media. You guys know I was going through what I always go through. And then I land in LA and I have texts from everyone. We got nominated, and when I say we, I mean me and you, got nominated for three Streamy nominations. As you guys know, last year I won show of the year on Streamies on VH1, and it was the biggest thing me and the DOF family did together. This year, we have three nominations. Best collaboration. Me and Roman are nominated for the prank that I did on Roman. Remember when I pretended to catch Britney in the shower? We're nominated for best collaboration. Prank channel of the year, FoosyTube, again nominated. And my favorite one, and the one I'm most thankful for. You're not gonna believe this. Dose of Fousey, the DOF family and Brubras are nominated for best first 
person. So first person is what I'm doing right now, talking to you guys. So we have a chance to win, not for FoosieTube, for Dose of Foosie. In about two weeks, they will announce the nominees for Show of the Year and Entertainer of the Year. And more than anything, I want to be nominated for Entertainer of the Year for everything I did with Dose of Foosie and did with you guys on FoosieTube. So just thank you guys so much. I can't believe it. That three nominations in one night, it's going to be one hell of a night. And I can't wait to take you guys in October. So I just got home and got this package from Fight of the Living Dead. As you guys know, I'm on this show. I posted the first episode on my channel. So they gave us this, they gave us a letter, they gave us zombie survival kit, food for the zombies, a beanie, and a whole bunch of cool stuff. Now I don't wanna spoil it, but a lot of you were so upset with episode three. You were like, no, I can't believe it happened to my bruh bruh, no. I'm not allowed to say it, but all I can say is keep watching. You think your brother is gonna let that happen to him that easy? Just keep watching and you're in for a great surprise from me. If you're enjoying the show, thank you. Just keep watching, I have something special coming your way. So I heard that Muffin learned how to sit. Now I have to see it with my own eyes to believe it. So I'm gonna test it out right now. Muffin sit. I scared dollar. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do it for dollars. Sorry, I got excited. Dollar sit. Good boy. Ah, both my puppies know how to sit. Now I know, now I know all of your dogs at home know how to sit, know how to write, know how to do their signature, know how to paint, know how to climb steps, know how to play dead, know how to do cartwheels, know how to hit the nene, know how to hit the doggy. But my dogs don't. So the fact that Muffin, Muffin, come here. Muffin, come here. Muffin, sit. And what, Dollar's advanced though, watch what Dollar can do, watch this. Dollar, let's show them, come here. Sit, handshake, yeah! <laughs> and I'm not giving them treats because they just did that for me, I'm giving them treats just because I miss them so much and I want them to know that daddy loves them and daddy didn't mean to leave them for so long. So I'm back in LA, there's so much stuff I have to do. I have to go try to buy that other home, remember that condo you guys see me in? I'm gonna try to buy that while I'm here. I have to try to find my motorcycle, actually not find my motorcycle, I have to confront who has my motorcycle. I'm actually gonna drive there and say give me my motorcycle back they're not doing it out of ill intentions. I know exactly what's going on, so I'm excited to do that for the vlog. And I'm excited to just relax, hang out, and work out every single day until Europe starts. Believe it or not, I'm actually thinking of not going to the VMAs this Sunday because I've left my dog so much and it just feels unfair right now, so I might have to cancel going with Pablo to the VMAs so I can spend time with Dollar and Muffin at home and focus on just being with my family, working out, and taking care of myself. I know it's a great opportunity for me to go to this award show it's a chance to meet a lot of people but you know what I think I might have to just pass on it and focus on what's important right now which is focusing on my life where I'm living what's going on and just my happiness and my health so I hope you guys understand that something I wanted to talk to you about is my tattoo so you guys can't see right now but it's peeling like crazy it's scabbing it's peeling and it's happening all over the sad part about that is a lot of the color that was initially put is light it's not fading, it's just light because you know he didn't want to go too deep depending on what color I wanted. So I hit him up today and he said we might have to do another session. The other session will be going in and making sure all the colors look right and everything's vibrant because that's what it looks like right now, but it's just fading a bit and that's what's supposed to happen. It's a work of art, it's a masterpiece and I want him to take his time on it. So it's perfect, but in case it heals and it's a bit light, we're gonna have to do another session. What I wanted to do this vlog is show all the new people to this journey why this tattoo was so important for me. So I'm gonna give you a flashback as to all the times I went to a removal process. I'm gonna start with the time I opened up to my audience about getting the tattoo and how much of an emotional moment it was for me so you can see how conflicted I was in my mind at that time. And then I'm gonna show you some of the removals. I didn't record all eight removals, but I think I recorded four of them. So here you go for a quick recap. The next day, I woke up and I looked down at my arm and I was sent into like, I can throw up right now because I hate talking about these memories. I was sent into like, 
a deep, 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 like, hate, self-hatred and a hate for life because every moment I would wake up in life at that time, life would be good. But the second I looked at my tattoo, life became morbid and dark and I thought my life was over and I didn't know what was going on. And I know a lot of you guys are saying, dude, it's a tattoo, chill. You gotta understand, in the Muslim religion and the Middle Eastern culture, a tattoo is like forbidden amongst like everything. Like, it's like you just don't do it. And especially that fact that it was in a place that was so visible. I didn't know what to do for three months family for three months I couldn't leave my apartment. I was nervous. I was scared. I didn't know what to do I didn't know who to talk to about it. I was panicking I went and checked in with my therapist I got a therapist out here and I cried to her all the time and I said my life is over I don't know what to do my I don't know how to tell my mother my career is over once the Tubians find out that Yusuf Arakat the the poster child for what they put me as for like Islam, Middle Eastern, you know, whatever. The guy who brought the Middle Eastern parents has a tattoo. Their judgment for me is gonna change. They're gonna hate me. During those sessions, I expressed to her that I was having suicidal thoughts because I didn't know what else I could do. She was like, why don't you just go home and show your mother? I said, I would rather shoot myself in the head right here and now than to go home and tell my mother what I just did. And I was having actual suicidal thoughts. I was like, there's no way I can live like this. There's no way. I don't know what to do like I was like there's no way I can live and tell the world I have a tattoo it was that much of a burden in my life I seeked refuge through prayer I did everything but it still was a secret that was just always there here's the two tattoos this one says fleece two this one says dollar and dream that white spot that you see in the middle right here between the a and the n and the white spots there I thought were a good thing because I thought it meant that the tattoo was fading but that's a bad thing because that's my skin, that's white now. Kids, if you plan on getting tattoos, be sure you want it and you're ready to live with it, or else... You get to go through this. <laughs> oh, shit. Trust me, if you have got this done, now, the initial process hurts more than getting your tattoo, so the removal, but the real pain comes 30 minutes after you do the removal, when you're just sitting there and it's just like, you don't want it. You don't, you don't want it. You don't want it at all. All right, guys, here we go. And if you're new to these vlogs, me getting a tattoo is a big, 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 big thing. I've been getting it removed since 2013, believe it or not. So you have to wait between eight to, what, 10 weeks between each session. Yeah. But this time it's been since like before the 90 day journey. So. It's been a while now, so they're gonna go super strong in the lasers. I wouldn't wish this on any of you guys, bro, bro. Yeah. So before you get a tattoo, guys, think about it. Like, really think about it. We have certain parts that, um, few parts that don't have ink, so we don't want to go over those because it could just cause more skin discoloration. For the red and the black. So. See? Not too bad. So yeah, now I hope you guys have a better understanding as to the whole story behind the tattoo that was under this one and why this one means so much to me. It's like, I know the old audience understood it, but I know a lot of you joined, like some of you might have even subscribed today, which reminds me, a lot of you come to these vlogs every single day, but a high percentage of you aren't subscribed. We're almost at four million family members, so all you have to do is take one second right now and press the subscribe button, and you will be notified when I upload daily. There it is, guys. I just wanted to show you my reuniting with Dollar and Muffin, explain to you the tattoo backstory, announce the streaming nominations, and just spread this positive energy to you guys and the blessings. I'm so happy to be home and I can't wait to continue this journey with you guys. 
No talk today. All I'm gonna say, because it's what I represent, you know, I've been going through so much, but today the three streaming nominations hit and reminded me. It hit because this is Dosa Fusi where the grind don't stop. The tea stays green, the lines stay roaring, and we don't ever sweat the small stuff. If you believe in those four principles, give this video a big thumbs up. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Rah!